actually. Don't interrupt, Chidge. Greetings, Chidge. I'm not saying hello to you, Chidge. It's the, it's the email, all right? Greetings, Chidge, Jonathan, Danielle, and the gang. Been loving the show every time it's on Mixler for some years now. Unfortunately, due to my schedule in, in university, I sometimes don't have the chance to listen and interact live with the Chelsea Fancast family on Mixler. Just my thought on the season so far, after the amazing run of being top of the league throughout and winning it last season. It's been a nightmare of a season and every Chelsea fan wishes it will be over ever since from day one. From the heartbreak of Big Peter leaving for Arsenal to the way the club is being run by the board with poor summer signings. Also, need I say the crazy fiasco of how our greatest ever manager in Jose departing and recently John Terry's contract not being renewed. I can only hope as fans that we do all we can to persuade the board for a contract extension. Come on, Roman. <laughs> However, one silver lining is to see the youth playing more often. With the fantastic win against Newcastle, it's wonderful to see players like Loftus-Cheek and Bertrand Traore on the score sheet. And with Willian and Costa hungry for goals and Pedro on the verge of getting his hat-trick and easily man of the match, one can only imagine if most of them played like this under Jose, how different our season would be. On a positive note, it's one of my dreams to visit London and Stamford Bridge, and after much planning, it looks like it will be Terry's last match of the season. I just had to come and see our captain, leader, legend play live for that reason. I'm planning to visit London for the first time around the end of April to sometime in May to catch a few home games at the bridge, possibly both the Spurs and Leicester games at the bridge. I have no idea what to expect, but I want to experience how local Chelsea fans enjoy themselves on match day. Go around with you, Chidge. I was, I was going to say, mate, if he had been with me on Saturday, I think he might have been scared off. Would it be best? <laughs> <laughs> would it be best to sit in the East Stand or West? Got to get a ticket first. And finally, I would most definitely love to drop by and meet up with Chidge and the gang as well. From your friendly Canadian across the pond, oh, Zuriel Ung. How do you pronounce his name? I don't know, Zuru. Have we? I, 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 I've known. I mean, I've not met Zuru, as you can obviously figure out. Uh, but I've known Zuru pretty much since we started doing this show. I mean, I, I have a suspicion that Zuru has been listening to this show pretty much since we started. And I still don't... I, I've, I've always searched, I've kind of skirted round the fact that his surname is spelled N-G. Is it N-G? Is it N-G? Well, I don't know, but it, I, I find that I, that is unpronounceable, even for me. So, Zuriel, help me out here, buddy, because we don't Zuriel. know. Pronounced correctly, Zuriel N-G. Seriously? Nice, I like it. I was it. always bemused by the fact that Ekiog... he's a rap star. Ekiog, who <laughs> played for Villa, was, was, was always Ekiog, and his name <laughs> he was... He said no, he e got it wrong. <laughs> He said Sorry, no, John. is he? He and said it, no. It's spelled E H I O U I O G U. And a Nigerian friend of mine said, It's Yago. Oh. He said, I don't understand why everybody's called him Ekiog. Was he Shakespearean? <laughs> and it, well, wait, that's, his, that's where he got it from. It's where Shakespeare got it from. Okay. Uh, apparently, you pronounced it. Uh, Zuriel's now told me, in no uncertain terms on Mixler, that Jonathan did it before. So, however you pronounced it, it was right. Ung. Ung. Okay. I'm liking that. Um, Okay, where does one start with this email? I think, at number one, I think it's fantastic that you're coming over, Zuriel. You must let us know when, which well, you, you kind of already have, but remind me, because I'm a man of a small brain and I'm prone, prone to forgetting. But absolutely come out, like, well, like, like, like Waylon and, um, and Mark did uh, on Saturday. And I mean, they, 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 Tony will verify, because he, he was uh, with us in the cock. We had an absolutely hilarious time, as did they. I mean, all I can say about that Saturday was that Mark, actually, he went home before I did. I think he was so drunk he had to go back to the hotel. Uh, but Waylon manfully stuck it out to the end, and I think he was still in the pub when I left, which was quarter to 12. So you will have a great time. So come and find us. Come and let me know. And I'm sure you'll... It sounds like you've already got tickets sorted out. So uh, hopefully, as Jonathan said, you'll get a ticket. Um, now, East Stand, if you're in the East Stand, then you'll probably be sitting with the likes of Jonathan. Uh, where you get butler service, am I right, Jonathan? Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a butler for each of us. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's... I, don't, I don't watch the game. He tells me. Yeah, East Stand. Yeah, well, Dan, Dan also sits in the East Stand, but of course, Dan sits in the press box, which is behind the dugout. So he gets a press butler. He does. He gets a press butler. Yeah. Um, so they're both very posh. Bizarrely, 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 bizarrely. Where I sit, um, where's my season ticket? <laughs> Hold on. Hang on. Quite an interesting fact, this. Um, so, my seat, which is 
Uh, obviously, gate 17. Seat number 251. If, if, I, I, if I move, and there's no fence or anything, if I move to my left, I'm in the east Yeah. End. You're right on the edge, aren't you, Mark? Yeah, so um, Uncle Tom, bless him, who sits just over that divide, pays an extra £85 for the privilege. Does he really? And, and because, because he was two foot nearer to those first three goals in that first half, um, he reckons that that was worth the extra 80 quid. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> well, the good news is, judging from what he's just said on Mixler, Zuriel should be able to get a ticket, which is good news. They're not on sale yet, so that's, that makes me think he's probably a True Blue member out in Toronto, which means he should be able to get a ticket. Because I tell you now, Zuriel, if you're here for Spurs and Leicester, getting tickets for Spurs and Leicester will be like trying to get hold of rocking horse shit. It will unless, really be unless difficult. Unless he goes into um, hospitality. Yeah, well, you know, give me a, give me a shout if you need a bit of help. That's all I'm saying. Um, talking of Leicester, I've decided already that the name of the show after that will be Terry's All Gold. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, we've got that already. So I think, Dan, I mean, another brilliant email, really. Yeah, fantastic. And, and always love the ones that come from overseas fans who want to come over, get what it's about going to the pub yeah. before the game and after the game and just get into the culture of it because at the end of the day that's what football's about as as this as this show is always saying absolutely right absolutely right and as i said mark and Whalen absolutely embodied that and i tell you what was really really nice as well. i mean it was really quite funny because you know mark that mark and Whalen had been to the megastore and, and delightedly informed me that they'd spent 170 quid in there and of course i'm with people like you know athens john as waltz called them and a few old lags and we were like, oh, no, no, never spend a mo any money on the club than you absolutely have to. And they were like, but why, but why? We were like taking the piss out of them a bit, but, but all very lightheartedly. Um, but they, and it was their first game. But the nice thing was that there was nobody, not one person in the pub was like, oh, it's your bloody first game, oh, bloody plastic. You know, everybody was just really warm and welcoming and just made sure that they had an absolutely cracking day, which is really what it's all about. Oops, sorry. Like, what are you doing, Jonathan? I know I'm, I know I'm lovely to hear, but to hear me twice in such a short space of time. It just came on suddenly. You've That's got what they that all power. say. That's what they all say. Right, we better wrap this damn thing up. So, uh, Jonathan, as always, thank you so much for reading them so beautifully. And uh, thank you, people out there, for sending your emails. Please send us more. We lovely, lovely... There we go. Tony's just verified this. We gave them a lovely welcome. My two seatmates really hit it off with them. Yeah, they were lovely lads, and they had a great time, and... I was very proud of us all for being so lovely and welcoming. OK, yeah, thanks for the emails, people. Keep sending them in. I love them. And uh, Jonathan loves reading them, and we, we love what comes out of them. And we have a bit of a kind of freewheeling chat about it that's unscripted, which is always nice. Right, few plugs, as always. Uh, you can get CFC UK at home games from the CFC UK stall opposite Fulham Broadway Tube and also away games. Isn't that right, Marco? It certainly is, and it's only a pound. It's only a pound. Who will they find there if they turn up to the stall on a Saturday on a match day? They may find me. They will almost certainly find at some point Mr. Only a Pound himself. They will. They will. So there you go. Two legends of the Chelsea fraternity. And uh, if, it's, if it's freezing... And, and also Jason Marco, London's ah. black taxi driver, who should sell the fancy but prefers just to stand at the store. He does. Uh, our favourite cabbie and fellow Uber hater. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. So, um, yeah, we've got Marco in the house, who is more instrumental uh, with CFC UK than I am, although we both write on it and love doing so. And uh, there is one out at the moment. There'll be a new one out. When's the deadline, Marco? Do you know? Uh, I think it's the 20th, actually. Yeah. I think it's the 22nd. Is it? All right. I've got a week or two. Yeah, I've got one in the pipeline. That's all I'm saying. Um, so there we go. So if you can't get it uh, from Marco at the stall or from the various sellers uh, around Stamford Bridge, then you can always get it digitally by subscribing online at cfcuk.net. And if you're in the USA, uh, you can follow the Twitter account, which is at cfcukusa. And if anybody's interested in getting a, a hard copy, they can contact Dan Lundberg on Twitter at dlundberg underscore. Uh, right, supporters trust. Join the trust. Get your voice heard by the club. Um, we are living in very interesting times at Chelsea at the moment.